वेलकम टू विनता मैथ चैनल दिस इज द सेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ द डी डी सी ओ दट इज डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सब्जेक्ट मॉड्यूल वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिजिटल डिजाइन इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द वी टी यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू स्कीम फाइन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी ट्राइड सॉल्विंग सम प्रॉब्लम्स वी ट्राइड सॉल्विंग प्रूविंग द सम आइडेंटिटीज यूजिंग the other identities fine even in the examination <coughs> they may ask you to prove some uh, expressions or even some boolean theorems okay <coughs> by using the truth table i'll show you how to do that see here uh, they are, they have asked us to prove the theorems of the boolean algebra can be proved by means of truth table also so here i am telling you the way how to prove this using a truth table method x is equal to x plus x y in the <coughs> last video i had already told you how to solve this problem by using the basic identities right now we will discuss how to solve this by using the truth table first how many variables are there two variables are there if there are two variables <coughs> the number of entries we can make are two variables are there <coughs> okay if there are any n variables i am generally writing the generalization i am writing now we can make 2 power n entries okay how many entries are here now four entries so two variables that is 2 power 2 which is equal to <coughs> four entries the values ranging from 0 to 0 to 2 power n minus 1 okay So zero to two power n minus one. So four minus one. What is four minus one? Three. So zero to three. That is, this is the decimal equivalent of zero. Zero one is one. One zero is two. One one is three. You have to follow this method always. How many number of variables are there? First, you have to look into, then <coughs> make the entries. According to two power n from zero to two power n minus one. <coughs> Next, x into y into into means and operation. For any and operation, what will be the output? What does the and logic says? <coughs> If all the inputs are one, then the output will be one. If not, the output will be zero. So check for all the ones. Okay. See here, I'm checking. It is zero, 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 one. No, all ones are ones. <coughs> See here, I'm having. <coughs> so I'll write one directly here. Okay. In the rest case, what I'll enter? I'll enter zero simply. I'll not check zero into zero is what, zero into one is what. I'll not do like like that. This will be the best way to solve it in a very easy way. For AND gate. the output will be one only when all the inputs are ones so check for the input where all the inputs are ones <coughs> here all the inputs are one so i have written one for the rest of the uh, inputs you can write you can fill zeros next here x plus xy is there we have already solved or filled xy <coughs> next what i have to do x or with x into y sorry for the bad throat next for making x plus xy plus is there plus means or operation what is the statement of or operation if when if any one input is one the output will be one right so what i will do i have to check the column of x 
if i write if i find any ones i can write the output as one directly here okay why for an or gate if any one input is one if any at least one input is one the output will be one fine so i'll check this column that is x see it is zero zero i'll not write anything here here it is one one is there so i'll di write directly one <coughs> why one in place of x one is there one or x y let it be anything okay one or with any variable is one so i'm writing directly <coughs> fine now check in this x y column x y column for remaining these two entries x y <coughs> this is zero right here it is also zero here it is also zero <coughs> i'm checking with x y column here it is both are zero so if it was one here i would have filled one here but both are zeros fill it with zeros <coughs> understood now compare x and x plus x y x this column with this x plus x y see 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 both the entries are equal <coughs> so x is equal to x plus x y is it proved understood next prove the de morgan's theorem by using the truth table okay before going to the proof let us first discuss what does the de morgan's theorem says there are two forms of de morgan's theorem the first one says the complement of sum of a variables is equal to the product of the individual complements okay uh, we can write it for n number of variables just i'll show you for two variables and for three variables let me take it for two variables first see how i'll write you just try to follow that <coughs> the complement of so the complement means bar okay the complement of sum of variables sum of variables how many variables i am taking two variables so x and y okay till here we completed the complement of sum of variables how many variables two variables is equal to so i have to put equals is equal to product of product means into product of individual complements how many variables two variables so x y individual complements for this individually i have to put a bar and for y individually <coughs> understood okay i can put a bracket here also here next 